Hey hi, hello guys. I'm back with another video. This is going to be my stationary favourites video. I know I did a video like this just last year before the summer but my favourites have changed so so much so I thought I might do another one and also I'm not quite sure what my hair is doing because I had a shower this morning and it's not fully dry. Let's just let my hair do what it wants for now and let's get onto the favourites. In my video last year I had a ton of stuff that I showed and I just showed everything I was bringing to the UK but this time it's going to be what I actually use. I'm gonna do pens first because they're balanced on top of the other categories. <laughs> so let's do pens first. Let's start with my favourite pencil. It's a mechanical pencil. It's the only mechanical pencil that I own, so I don't really have anything to compare it to, but I really like it. It's a pilot mechanical pencil and it's held up for a hell of a long time. And it's uh, it's good, so I like it. Then we have what I use for my headers in my bullet journal. It's my Unipin Fine Line 0.2. I don't know anything about it, but I know that I like it. It gives a slightly like bolder look. It's really nice, and it doesn't feather, and it doesn't really bleed. It's a really good pencil. And then I have this one that I recently got. I'll leave the link where I got it down below, like with all of these things. And I also have a discount code for this. I love, I love that pen so much, and it just. It's just black and a really fine tip and it's just, it's really great. I use it in my bullet journal a lot. Then I have a very random pen. It's not something you can go out and buy, it's just something I found lying around our house. It's this like absolutely tiny little pen, but it's black and it has the right kind of really fine line. So I use that a lot in my bullet journal as well. And I just, just really like it. Then all study blurs like rave about the mild liners. I don't use highlighters a lot because I don't like to put too much colour on my stuff. But this one though, the grey one though, I, I love it. Uh, if you've seen my bullet journal video, which I'll link up there in the cards, uh, you'll see that I use it for my headers. It's so cool, I love it so much. Then we have my Platinum Preppy 0.2 fountain pen. It's a cartridge refill thing. I think mine is actually almost empty. I use it a lot and it writes really well and really smoothly and I just really like it. It's a really good like black thin pen if you're looking for one. Then we have these Pilot Juice pens. I really 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 like them they're really really thin which is what i love the thinner the pen honestly the better i love it so much and these have colors and they're just really good i'm gonna get some of the black ones soon because i love the colors so much and i think i'll love using the black ones just for everyday writing i love the blue one in this one in particular the green one isn't super good because it just you can't you can barely see it but these are these are brilliant honestly and then what would a stationary favorites be you know without these i think they're great they are very hyped up and i don't use them as much as maybe the hype would justify but you know what they're really good pens and they come in a lot of colors which is really good if you like color code your subjects and stuff because you are almost guaranteed to find a color for one of your subjects in here in general i just think they're decently good pens and they're like i, I like them <laughs> They're one of my favourites. In my bullet journal, I specifically use the grey ones just to keep with the monochromatic theme that I'm going for. I think that's great that they also have like greys in there and not just like really bright colours. So that was all the pens that I had and then I have a little kind of a random favourite in the middle. I mainly write with pen. I don't write that much in pencil unless I'm sketching out like layouts for my bullet journal. So it's really handy to have one of these. This is a Tipex pocket mouse and it's just like white out that you roll on so you don't have to wait for it to dry or anything and it's just really handy. Moving on to paper favourites. The first one I have is a sticky note. I used to be a little bit obsessed with sticky notes. I ordered a lot of them on like AliExpress and they're cute and everything but I don't really use them. I normally just use my, my Poundland ones because you know they're just simple and soft colours and it's just they, they do the trick. I don't need lots of like animal face and stuff but these ones I think are really really handy. They are weekly sticky notes which 
it's really handy if you have like a bullet journal or something because you can just use them for forward planning and like jot down what you have to do each week also use them for gratitude for a while it's like writing a little thing i was grateful for on each day and i just think they're really handy and it's really original kind of you can do it on just normal sticky notes as well but i think these are nice and they're minimalist enough that you know there's not like tons of decoration but i think they're super handy and i'm really really glad i got these i'll definitely be getting refills because i use them for so many random things i adore my bullet journal if you saw my bullet journal video you know this is gotten a slightly new appearance these notebooks in general are really really good it's a new notebook the paper is super super thick nothing leads through it at all and there's absolutely minimal ghosting and it's just really good quality they are so pretty as well and they have dot grid paper which is my favorite and they have really pretty covers i honestly think they are the best notebooks that i've encountered if you're looking for kind of this type of notebooks they do them in a5 as well don't worry you don't have to be a lover of the tiny things to to get them i would definitely recommend them because they are absolutely amazing then for like the kind of essential most essential thing of all you know the regular notebook that i use every day to take all my class notes to do all my work in and everything like that this is my pucker pad notebook i order these in three packs from amazon because i just go through them i use them so much because they're honestly so good the cover is sturdy it's just cardboard so i usually cover the edges with like water tape so they don't fray up too much then they have a good spiral they have 200 pages they have holes punched in them so you can just pop them straight into your binder or whatever you don't have to punch holes they are perforated so you can tear them out easily without getting all the like wobbly things on the end and i just love them and if you want a hack i described this in my uni organization video but it's quite easy to put one of these pockets in the front then you have you know somewhere to store your loose papers as well honestly i think this is the best notebook i've ever used for like class and stuff and i'll definitely be continuing and when i buy it in a three pack from amazon like i do they're not too expensive either i think i'll be sticking with these for a while and that was all the favorites that i had to show you if favorite videos are something you want to see like monthly favorites or whatever or uni favorites maybe definitely let me know in the comments as well as any other things you want me to film because i would love to have some suggestions because i want to film what you guys want to see if you like this video give it a thumbs up so i know and if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos definitely hit the subscribe button down in the description box i hope you've had a lovely day and i'll see you next time bye bye